World-renowned Dallas pastor T.D. Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Combs. It's filed by a producer that worked with Combs. It discusses how the singer planned to leverage his relationship with the bishop to soften the impact on his public image of Casey Ventura's lawsuit. Ventura is a former girlfriend of Combs who filed her own lawsuit in November alleging abuse, violence, and trafficking. It's all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. The worst that could happen if, it, if, if, if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. There's some serious drama unfolding in the world of T.D. Jakes and Diddy. Yes, you heard that right. These two have been collaborating for a while working together to salvage Diddy's reputation and more. But here's the twist. Rumors are swirling that the FBI is now investigating Diddy and T.D. Jakes finds himself drawn into the chaos. It's a surprising turn of events. One moment they're partners, and the next, they're facing a federal probe. It's safe to say that Jake isn't thrilled about this situation. He might even be in danger due to Diddy's actions, and understandably, he's upset. Given Diddy's reputation, he wouldn't hesitate to sake himself, even if it means throwing others, including Jay-Z and T.D. Jakes, under the bus. So, what's Jake's plan? You can bet he's not sitting idly by. No, he's gearing up for a showdown with Diddy himself. It's going to be a one-on-one -on -one encounter like no other, with Jake demanding answers and holding Diddy accountable for dragging them both into this mess. Things are about to get very interesting between these two. Grab some popcorn, because this duel will be unforgettable. Jake, the renowned preacher from the Potter's House in Dallas, finds himself embroiled in a legal battle with none other than seen Diddy Combs. Here's how it all went down. Rodney Jones, also known as Lil Rod, a music producer for Combs' Bad Boy Records, has filed a lawsuit. Brace yourselves, it's alleging some major crimes, including trafficking. According to the civil action obtained by USA Today, Combs is accused of engaging in questionable business practices. Jones claims that Combs has been harassing, drugging, and threatening him for over a year. Jones isn't just making empty accusations. Smoke, he's after some serious cash, we're talking about a whopping $30 million in compensation, and he's not interested in resolving this peacefully. No, he's gunning for a jury trial. Now, that's bound to be a legal showdown. Things seem to be heating up between these prominent figures, and it's shaping up to be quite the journey. So, what's in the lawsuit? Well, in this complaint, Rodney Lil Rod Jones alleges some juicy details about P. Diddy. According to Jones, Diddy supposedly planned to use his connection with none other than Dallas Pastor to smooth over any legal issues related to Cassie Venture's case. Interestingly, Jake's name only pops up once in Jones' 73-page lawsuit. So, what's the scoop? Jones claims to have undeniable evidence that Mr. Combs, yes, P. Diddy himself, was scheming to leverage his friendship with Bishop to improve his public image amidst some rocky situations. It all revolves around Cassie. Before you jump to conclusions about Ventura's lawsuit, it's important to note that Jake isn't listed as a defendant in the civil claim. He's simply been drawn into the controversy surrounding Diddy's ambitions. But hold on, there's more. This isn't the first time the Bishop has been associated with controversial rumors involving Diddy. Back in December 2023, there were murmurs on social media alleging Jake's involvement in some wild parties organized by Diddy. Quite bizarre, isn't it? But here's the twist. Jake didn't sit idly by and let the rumors spread. No, he addressed them head-on during a Christmas Eve ceremony at the Potter's house. So, while T.D. Jake's may find himself entangled in some controversy, due to this case, he's not backing down without a fight. He seems ready to tackle whatever challenges come his way, rumors and all. Jake doesn't beat around the bush when it comes to addressing these rumors. He straightforwardly states that even if everything they say is true, he has a direct line to forgiveness. According to him, all he needs to do is genuinely repent and voila, problem solved. He's placing his faith front and center, asserting that Jesus' blood has the power to cover any sin, regardless of its magnitude. But here's the thing, he's resolute and feels he has nothing to apologize for in this particular case. Let's take a moment to recognize who we're talking about here. T.D. founded the Potter's House in 1996. This isn't just any ordinary church. It's a vast congregation of over 30,000 people spread not only across Dallas, but also Frisco, Fort Worth, Denver, and Los Angeles. He holds significant sway in the spiritual realm, 
so when the preacher speaks, people listen. And right now, he's making it clear that he won't let these reports shake his faith. It seems he and CMS have had their share of discussions. Over the years, Jake's sermon series made its debut on Calm's cable television network, Revolt Media, in 2021. Yes, you read that right. These two were collaborating to spread the word of Christianity on national television. Hold on to your hats, folks, because things have taken an unexpected turn. This week, Combs made a major move by selling his ownership in Revolt Media to an undisclosed bidder. This signals a significant shakeup, especially considering that Combs was the one who shut down the entire network back in 2013. Adding to the entry, he resigned as chairman of Revolt Media just last year. It seems he's been orchestrating some major behind the scenes maneuvers. But here's where it gets even more intriguing. On Monday, federal officials, including Homeland Security Investigations personnel, paid visits to two of Com's properties. Yes, you heard that correctly. Federal raids have descended upon Diddy's home. One can't help but wonder what they were searching for. It's safe to say that the relationship between Com's and Jake has been filled with twists and turns from collaborating on TV networks to facing government raids. These two have certainly had quite the tumultuous collaboration. And it's not just T.D. Jakes. Many others have contributed to the pandemonium. Lil Rod isn't holding back either. He's making some alarming accusations, including one involving Cuba Vidding Jr., an Oscar winner. Yes, you heard that right. According to Jones' claim in January 2023, Combs introduced him to the 56-year-old Cuba Gooding Jr., here's where it gets alarming. Combs left the two of them alone in a studio aboard his yacht. Trouble ensued swiftly. Jones alleges that Gooding wasted no time in making inappropriate advances, touching, grabbing, and fondling him in areas such as his legs, inner thighs, and back. It's truly disturbing stuff. And if you think this all sounds too unbelievable to be true, Jones isn't just making baseless accusations. No, he's got evidence to back up his claims. His lawsuit includes a photo reportedly showing Gooding Jr. with his arm around Jones, as well as another photo allegedly showing Combs and Gooding conversing on the yacht. The lawsuit contends that Combs had jurisdiction and control over Gooding's conduct and failed to intervene to prevent him from assaulting Mr. Jones. Online are ready to for the book at TD believing he's guilty before hearing his side of the tale, yes, the court of public opinion, is in session and things aren't looking good for the bishop one guy wrote, why is the power bottom TD lying so much people don't just come up with this stuff out of nowhere, however Christians have an unrivaled willingness to be delusional, the conversation has no questions only cheers and clapping Jane isn't holding back or he's laid. Everything out on the table and it's gotten people talking according to him, there are only two reasons why someone would be found dead at a ditty party either they're into whatever wild things goes down there or they'd got some serious business to address with the top shots in town and lets the honest T.D. Jake doesn't appear to match either of those criteria, I mean as a clergyman, he should not be attending such gatherings whether he's secretly enjoying the festivities or dealing with Diddy behind closed doors, and it appears that many people are nodding in ord one person, even joined in noting that a bishop should not be attending this type of celebration, we need to be the light of the world preach, it's got many wondering what the heck. T.D. Jakes was doing something in the first place after all you're expected to be an example of decency and goodness, hitting up Diddy's parties doesn't exactly scream holy. Vibe so it appears that the court of public opinion is weighing in and the consensus seems to be very clear. 11 quadrillion, 111 trillion, 111 billion, 111 million, 111,111. 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 111, 